What uh, what's a day on the ashram like? I, I don't know if there's like a typical experience. You know, you they, they tell you you got to do seva, which is like work for God or work, you know. So you do a lot of that. You get like a job when you're like you're a kid. You know, when you're an adult, it's different. I would you know you do that as well, but then you just try to get off. So it's like having a summer job basically, and then you you go uh, you know you dig dig a ditch or you work at the the shop or something, you know. <laughs> I, mean, like- I feel like I remember digging ditches. So I remember being like, this is ridiculous. Uh, you know, because at that point, you just think, you know. Um, well, the other thing is that is that, so what I was born into, had a, you know, it really had a lot of juice and it really had a lot of excitement to it. And I think by the time I got to be kind of an independent person, you know, like whatever, 11 years old, that the whole thing had fallen apart and it had gotten a lot weirder, you know, and and... The original guru died. There's, anytime you have that changeover from the charismatic figure to the next person, you have the clergy take over. You have like the programming committees take over. Is there like a power struggle? Of course, there's huge power struggle. And there's all those scandals. There's everything that you could, you can, you can get in any organization that always happens. You know, and I don't really like, you know, need to go into like the nuts and bolts of it, but to say that by that point you're really like, let me out of here. This, this is, this crap. You know, 